going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Huh? Oh no, a river, a deep, wide river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We have to go through it. Splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. And what's that? A cave, a deep, dark cave. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We'll have to go through it. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Uh, what's that? A shiny wet nose, two big furry ears, and two big googly eyes. It's a bear. Quick, back through the cave. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Across the river. Splash, 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 splash. Into the front door. Up the stairs. Uh, we forgot to lock the door. Back down. Close the door. Run back upstairs. Into the bed. Phew. I am not going to go on a bear hunt anymore. So this one uh, is really fun, but also can be a little scary to kids sometimes. So we want to make sure that we're not actually scaring them. And we definitely want to talk about that we're hunting for a bear so that we can look at them and we're not trying to hurt the bear in any ways. And uh, it's a good time to talk about how bears are very big and they would not like to be caught. So sometimes you have to modulate it a little bit to make sure it's not scary. You can do it um, with just hand motions and everyone's sitting in a circle or your best is to do it out on the yard and maybe even crawl across the grass. Try and do the same uh, order of uh, places you go, like a river and the tall grass. Um, so that they can anticipate it and that you can remember the whole series going forwards and the whole series going backwards. It can be uh, as long or as short as you want. You can do uh, any sort of motions and sounds. If you've identified something that you want to work on with any kids, then this is a great way to sort of slip in some gross motor skills and uh, some nomenclature about, you know, wide and deep and cold and tall. Um, yeah, so this one's really easy to fit into the curriculum.